In this video, we're going to look at how we can add a live video object to our presentation. With a live video object, basically what we can do is we can add a live camera to our presentation. When it comes to that slide, it'll turn the camera on and then they can see you live in that presentation. Let's see what I mean. Let's go to my Mac. So I have this blank slide down here. What I'm going to do is add a new object. This was actually introduced in 2021, the live video object. What we need to do is we need to go to media here, and then under media, you're going to see live video. Now, before I add this, what does this do? Well, basically what it does is it adds a live video feed from your camera on your computer. In my case here, this is a MacBook Air. So it's going to add a live video camera feed to my presentation. So then when I come to this slide in my presentation, it's going to turn on that camera and anyone watching that presentation is going to see a live feed from your camera. So now let's add this and see the different options we have with it. I select it and now we can see we have my camera here. You can see me recording this. What I'm going to do is move this we're going to look at this in a presentation, so I'm just going to rearrange this and bring this up here to this position here. So now I have this feed in here, but what other options do we have? Maybe I'm not using this camera. I want to use a different camera. Maybe I have a web camera. Well, what we can do, if we go over to Format here, we first have to select it. So I'm going to select this object. We can see we have our squares here, our handles. It is now selected. When we're looking at our format here, under live video, what we're able to do is switch our cameras. Now, I do not have any other cameras connected to this computer, so I'm not able to select a different camera. But if you did, if you had a webcam, what you'd be able to do is select it from a different camera, select where that live video feed is coming from. We can also set the scale, which is going to be the size. I can mask it and set a corner radius. Now, being that this just has square corners, Let's go and add a corner radius to it. And when we do that, let's just go with 25 here. So I have 25. If we look here, you're gonna see I have a nice little corner radius there. Now what I like to do is make a round corner. So what I'm going to do, actually make a round circle. So I'm going to go to mask here, and then we go over to circle, and now we can see it's a circle. Now I am not zoomed in here, so let's go ahead and adjust the scale. So I'm gonna Zoom in here a little bit. I need to move my screen there. There we go. So now I'm zoomed into that a little bit better. I also like to add a border to it. So now what I do is I go over to style here and then I go over to border. We're just gonna go with a line and let's go with orange here. Or we'll go with purple. There we go. And I need to make that line a little thicker. We're going to go with 15. So now we have a, we're going to, let's make that a different color here. That really isn't a good color. There we go. So now I have an orange line and we can see that it has a thicker border. So now let's see how this looks in an actual presentation or how this would work when you're doing a presentation. So what I'm going to do is go to this slide here and then what we do is we click on play. I'm going to play on this Mac. There's our slide. So now when I hit the space bar, what it's going to do is go to that next slide with my camera feed. So I'm giving the presentation. We're talking about tulip time. These are some of the tulips that you can see. And now if you ever want to come to tulip time, it's held the first or second week in May. You can go to tuliptime.com to read more about it. Let's take a look at some more tulips. Actually, I should be looking at the camera here. Let's take a look at some more tulips. I'm looking at the camera on my MacBook Air. So come into tulip time. It's held the uh, first couple weeks of May. And now we have bands that play during parades. We have millions of tulips. So that's how live video works in a presentation and keynote. Basically, it's just an object a media object. When we add that in there, what we're able to do is select which camera we want to get our live video from. We can also mask it as well as style it. Once you add that live video to your presentation, when you are giving that presentation and it comes to that slide, your camera will turn on on your Mac 
and then everyone will see a live video feed from that camera. So that's how we add live video feeds or a live video object to a keynote presentation on the Mac.